Thanks, Athena. Well, the financial markets, as you know, have been so volatile the last few months. Our Money Minute man and financial expert Steve Sexton of the Sexton Advisory Group is here to help us make sense of all of this. And it, it's it's challenging, Steve. What is going on? Well, just this last week, we got a survey that says 24% of uh, all CEOs are planning to lay off in the next year because the economy isn't moving forward. On top of that, we already know Ben Bernanke isn't planning to raise interest rates. And on top of that, we have all the situation with the European Union and the International Monetary Fund, and especially Greece just announced that, hey, we're not going to be able to meet our targets to get a bailout. So it's real scary. Uh, ever since August, we've been seeing this hope and dissipation of hope because just a week and a half ago, we saw the International Monetary Fund, the European Union, they all got together and said, hey, we're going to create a TARP-type bailout system, and everybody was excited. The market went up 6% over two days, and then, uh oh, it's not going to happen because uh, Germany and other countries didn't like it, and it just waned off. Kind of like that roller coaster ride. You go up, you go down. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for it to steady out, but in the midst of this, what can we do to kind of stay afloat? Well, let's talk about that. Many people see stories like what we're talking about right now, or for example, remember back in um, January and February, we talked about the bond bubble. Mm -hmm. Somebody would go into their advisor and say, look at this story, they're talking about the bond bubble. And you know what? The advisor would say, okay, no problem, we're gonna put you in short-term bonds. And the person would go, oh, thank you so much, and they go home and they go sit and watch TV, but the reality is the 800-pound gorilla is still sitting in the room, and here's why. Short-term bonds are paying a half a percent. The advisor is probably charging one to one and a half percent. We have inflation on top of that. And you know what? They're probably going to be there for two, maybe three, four years, which means they're going to be losing money for that whole period of time. And it's just because they didn't ask additional questions. That's where you come in, because you empower people to ask the questions that are right for them and their scenario because no two situations are the same. Oh yeah, for example, we have another situation where they talk about, okay, we're gonna buy bonds, but we're just gonna buy hold the bonds until maturity. So you have a $100 bond, it's worth $100 at the end and you get the yield in the middle. A lot of times people don't realize they're still paying an advisor fee. Secondly, what about the risks that are involved with that? So if you're a little bit older and you have all your money sitting in bonds and they're locked up and Say there's another fire in San Diego and your house burns down, or you have uh, medical emergencies you need to get to the money. And as a result, they're going to have to sell some of those bonds, but if the value of those bonds are 20 25% less, it hurts. They can lose a lot of money, and that's an unknown risk. So it's important to understand what's going to happen now, but also what could happen in the future so you can make a decision based off all the facts, just not one fact or two facts or emotionally making that decision because somebody's appeased you. Let's give folks a, a chance, if they can, to grab a piece of uh, paper and a pen and let's empower people right now with some of the best questions to ask their financial expert. Perfect. First one, you want to know what the fees are. Okay, so that means each investment, whether it's your advisor or the investment itself, has some sort of fee. Know what it is. Secondly, what is the taxable impact? So, for example, in 2013, dividends are going to be taxed at 40%. If you're getting a 5% dividend, that means you're losing 2% to uh, taxes, and then you have a fee on top of that, which means you might only be earning 2% in dividends. Not so good. Mm -mm. The other thing is, what is the risk, short-term, long-term? What is the effect on my liquidity? When am I going to need money? Because inflation's involved with that. So if we know those things, we can now make decisions based on a number of facts. And when you make decisions based on facts, you know your money's in the right place as opposed to having somebody who's got an opinion that just sounds good. You offer these workshops for folks to come into and get a feel of how to navigate in a world that is really foreign to a lot of us. And I know you have a couple of workshops that are coming up. What kind of skills do you empower us within these workshops? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a lot of the myths, misinformation, and why and how people make decisions based off emotions. But more importantly, we're going to talk to them about the right questions to ask, how to allocate your money from different tax uh, categories to properly reduce your taxes and still get great returns. What are the three advisor myths? Like what are the myths about attorneys, CPAs, as well as wealth advisors? We're going to talk about, hey, how is that lazy money? We'll talk about that bond bubble that we just talked about. Hey, another myth is that you get nothing for free, but you are giving <laughs> something away for free today to our viewers. Yes, uh, there's a report called the Dalbar Report. It discusses investor behavior. It talks about many of the 
people making decisions based off emotions, misinformation. Because the reality is, you know what, you can get 9% return, but if you're paying 25% to taxes, 2.5 uh, percentage uh, points of your return to fees and expenses, you're only earning 2 to 4%. Yeah, we are out of time. I would love to talk about this more. How can folks get that report? They can go to our, they can call our, call our office at 1-800-560-2611, or they can go to our website at www.sextonadvisorygroup.com and order it right there. We'll email it to you. You can say, I got something for free. I got something for free. <laughs> Steve, thanks so much for coming thanks, on Renee. today. Good to have you on this Monday. More information, please go to our website, sandiego6.com, and click on San Diego Living, and make sure to tell your friends, nanny, nanny, boo-boo, I got this for free.